Hello YouTube and welcome to the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to have a look at one of my favorite multi tools. It's the Spyderco Spider Wrench. There were three different versions of this tool made. The first two were made in the USA and the last was rebadged as a bird and made in China. Now the USA versions first came out in 1999 and had an OS 8 blade. Now these were discontinued pretty quickly but they was they were re-released this is a one of the new releases um, and it was released in 440c steel so the easy way to tell the US version from the Chinese version is obviously one the Spyderco emblem that's stamped into the side but also on the Tang stamp there is a 440c USA so this one here is the 2007 re-release, not the original 1999 model. If you're a collector or fan of Spyderco, you'll probably recognize that signature blade style, which is uh, similar to a Delica. But that's probably about where the similarities end uh, with other Spyderco knives. This is nothing like Spyderco has ever made before or since. Although it is uh, worth noting that Sal Glesser, the president of Spyderco, has mentioned in the forums that uh, they still have all the tooling for these. So if any uh, distributor places a large enough order for them, then they can restart making them at any time in the US or in China. Now, a lot of people look at these and think they're a bit of a gimmick, but when you look at what it would have taken to actually sit down and design this tool I can confirm that every part of this tool works and it works as intended from the knife to the screwdrivers everything just is spot on and I'm not talking about the quality I mean the quality is exactly what you'd expect from Spyderco um, top-notch quality I'm just talking about the engineering side of it um, it's not pieced together like if I was to think of a CRKT guppy um, that's been thrown together this has not been thrown together this this is very very well designed so let's have a look at some of the features we'll start with the screwdrivers uh, they obviously take a standard quarter inch bit driver it's non-magnetic but it's held in by a tiny screw that screw is adjustable so it provides just the right amount of detent that you want to retain that bit and uh, or whatever else you want to put in there now of all the other reviews on YouTube with this tool, I've not seen anyone else that has the tool with the Spyderco sheath that it comes with. I'm not sure if they all came with the sheath or if it was an accessory. But the uh, sheath doesn't hold any additional bits or anything else. So if you wanted to carry any other quarter inch drive bits, um, you'd have to do so in a separate pouch. So one of the great things about the spider wrench is that it comes apart and you can use two different tools at the same time. And the only other tool I've ever seen that work on is the uh, Coleman Prolock. Now here we get a great view of Spyderco's back lock and the indent spring nice and exposed there for you to have a look at that's very comfortable too not quite delica kind of comfortable but um, same kind of ergonomics So here is a good example of what I meant about the design. So the detent for holding this together is utilized with the spring and the tip of the screwdriver. That's what actually holds that in. So if you take the screwdriver and the file out, uh, it doesn't actually hold it in place. So this multi-tool comes with a tip down pocket clip 
uh, which is a bit redundant when you have it in the sheath for carrying on the belt. Well, I've really hoped you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, hit that red button now for me. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you so much uh, for your support. Um, please feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to see something come up. I'm happy to take requests. Uh, have a good night everyone. Bye bye.